Shares of Valiant Pharmaceuticals under pressure today after the company cut ties with the specialty pharmacy Philidor. It distributed some of Valiant's prescriptions. Yesterday, pharmacy benefits managers CVS Health, Express Scripts, and uh, a unit of United Health Group all ended their relationships with Philidor. Shares of Valiant down about 16 percent today. Meg Terrell has more on the storm swirling around Valiant. It was another rough day for Valiant. The drug maker saying allegations about Philidor's activities raise additional questions about the company's business practices. It says Philidor will shut down operations as soon as possible. The specialty pharmacy only accounts for about 6% of Valiant's revenue, but it's contributed to an almost 40% decline in Valiant's stock in the last week and a half. The decision to terminate the relationship came after several pharmacy benefits managers last night said they wouldn't work with Philidor anymore. CVS Caremark in particular, citing non-compliance with the terms of its agreement. Specialty pharmacies typically have been used to handle more complicated drugs, such as those that need special storage or dosing. More recently, some companies, including Valiant, have used specialty pharmacies as a way of distributing often higher-priced drugs that insurers want to dissuade patients from using before trying cheaper alternatives. Pharmacy benefits manager Express Scripts cited the practice of circumventing cost-saving strategies as a reason it was terminating its relationship with Philidor. A four-hour-long presentation by hedge fund titan Bill Ackman, one of Valiant's largest shareholders, failed to stop the stock slide. Ackman came out in defense of the company, saying he still believes in Valiant and CEO Mike Pearson, though noted he does take issue with a few things. First, he said the company needs to improve its public relations, investor relations, and government relations. He also said Valiant should have disclosed more about its relationship with the Philidor Pharmacy and that he expected both communications and disclosures would be more robust going forward. Ackman compared the situation with that of American Express in the 1960s, when a young investor named Warren Buffett bought the stock at a discount after a scandal drove its shares down. Ackman last week increased his stake in Valiant. The drug maker, however, still has several things on its plate. Multiple government inquiries into its drug pricing and patient assistance programs, plus the threat of another report from short sellers Citron Research. That's the firm that initially helped spark the Philidor controversy. Citron coming out on Twitter today saying it's got a new report it'll release Monday. No hints as to what it'll contain, but Valiant stock slumped as much as 15 percent intraday heading into the weekend. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Meg Terrell.